Thank you for clicking through to this video. This is part 2 of 12 of possible reasons why a two-stroke engine may bog down. In this particular one, we're going to be looking at issues inside the fuel tank. I've already uploaded the full version of the 12 reasons, but I've broke them down here into separate videos just to make things a little easier. Not the tank itself at this point, but I would look into the tank at the fuel filter. And I'd be making sure that the fuel filter is clear with no blockages so it's not restricting any fuel. In the past I have removed fuel filters and cleaned them slightly and blew through them to see if there is any restriction there but I can't recommend that to everybody because of the potential dangers of fuel contacting the mouth. So what I tend to do nowadays is always have a fuel filter on standby for the price that you can get them for just a couple of pounds. It's best to have one on standby so that you can just replace it anyway. Of course, there's just simply the option of removing the fuel filter for just a few moments and running the machine again. Of course, making sure that there's no dirt at the bottom of the tank that would suck up into the carburetor. But of course, then it would eliminate whether it's a fuel filter issue or not. But of course, if the fuel filter is blocked, we can see the issues there. We can see it's not drawing in fuel down in through the fuel pipes there and it's not going into the carburetor. Therefore, when we try and rev the engine up we're going to get a small amount of fuel if any and if it runs at all it's quite likely to bog down. Now another cause of bogging down I've had in the past relating to the fuel tank is the fuel tank cap. That's because when the engine's running and it's drawing fuel out of the fuel tank it has to allow the fuel tank to breathe. So explaining that a little further when the fuel leaves the fuel tank and goes into the engine it draws down above it and it's like a vacuum. The more fuel that leaves the fuel tank, the more air it draws in above it. And as shown here, it's usually a special one-way valve in the fuel tank cap that allows the air to come in to the top there of the fuel. Now when these valves fail to work, which is something I have come across a few times in the past, the fuel can't leave the fuel tank because there's like a vacuum lock there. There's no air coming in to replace the lost fuel. And the effect there would be kind of like if you had a large syringe and you had no needle on it, of course, and you put your finger on the top of the syringe and try and draw back. You wouldn't be able to do so. You wouldn't be able to pull back. And if you did manage to pull back and let go, it would spring back upwards. And that's because of the vacuum, the air drawing it back up because there's no air coming in to replace the air you're trying to draw back out of the syringe itself. So the vacuum lock's created and actually pulls back up at the fuel, just like when we pull back at the syringe and it springs back up. So the obvious effect of this is less fuel getting into the carburetor. That, of course, could contribute to bogging down, but eventually, of course, it would stop the engine completely. As we can see, that's down to fuel starvation and all because of the fuel tank cap, which is unfortunately sometimes overlooked. So what I've done in the past, if I've suspected that the fuel tank cap is at fault, I've just undone the fuel cap slightly to allow air to come through, so to allow it to breathe. So it's doing the job of the actual valve itself and then run the machine again. If it runs OK, then it could be your cap. And it's just a case then of replacing your cap and all should be OK. So thank you for watching this short video on number 2 of 12 videos I've got on bog down. And please check out the next one which is regarding fuel pipe and bog down.